I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to make a Woodland Indians roundhouse called We Too. I take two fingers on the left and I put a dot. And from that dot I'm going to draw straight up, straight line up, curve line over, curve line down, leave it floating. Come back to the dot. We're going to draw a curve line, straight line, curve line, connect. We're going to do the whole entire top straight line, curve line, connect. Almost like an overlap. Straight line, curve line, connect. Straight line, curve line, connect. Straight line, curve, connect. And we're going to bring it all the way down. Straight line, curve line, connect. Straight line, curve line, connect. Straight line, curve line, connect. And leave it floating. We come back over here and we are going to start right about here and mimic that line. We're going to draw a curved line all the way down, curved line at the end, connect, come back to about here on the middle. Let's put it right about here and we're just going to draw a curved line down, keep going, and we're going to leave that floating. Come back over here on the bottom and we're going to add Curve line up, curve line, connect. Some of you might have more curved lines than others because we all draw differently. Now, right about here in the center, we're going to draw two skinny curve lines. Bring it down, two skinny curve lines. Now, it doesn't really matter how you place these because this is a natural drawing of a dwelling made out of wood, bark, and timber. Come over here to the front and we're just going to draw skinny. These are poles. Skinny line, straight line over. Skinny, straight line over. And now we're going to do overlaps on the front. We go straight line, jump over, straight line, jump over, straight line, curve line, straight line, connect. Right next to the top, straight line, jump over, straight line, jump over, straight line, curve line, connect. Straight line, jump over, straight line, jump over, straight line, curve line, connect. Straight line, jump over, straight line, jump over, straight line, over, connect, straight line, jump over, straight line, jump over, straight line, curve line, connect, and now this direction, connect. Right here, we're just going to draw straight line. We're going to stop because now we're going to draw straight line down, over, up, connect. Now we're going to continue that straight line, connect. I know it looks a little confusing, but that's part of the reason why they were built this way because they're using all natural materials. Let's add another straight line, curve line, and now let's try and add a, a bottom line. Curve line, keep going, even if it doesn't connect, keep going off the page. All right. Now you can come back in and you can put a little straight line if you need to on the left. You can put another skinny line, skinny line, jump over, skinny line, skinny line. And now you're going to come back in and just draw a straight line, straight line, jump over, jump over, straight line, straight line, straight line, connect. Come inside this space and just draw a slightly wavy line once and twice. Alright, now come over here 
and you've got this floating in outer space, that's okay because this is going to be some shrubbery because this is built in the forest. So you're going to go zigzag, 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 come over here, zigzag, 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 zigzag. Okay? And again, everybody's is going to look a little bit different because we all draw differently. Now you come back over here and we are going to add our poles again. So we're going to draw a skinny curve line, jump over, jump over, jump over, connect, come back up, and let's start here and just draw straight line, curve line, straight line, curve line, straight line, jump over, straight line, slightly curve line, bring it down, bring it down, okay. Now, let's come back up here and add another line inside. Okay. Now, their houses were in the forest. So right here, we're just going to go wavy, wavy, wavy line. Wavy, wavy. These are trees. Wavy, wavy line. Wavy, wavy. Everybody's going to look different. Wavy, wavy line. Okay. I think that's all. All right, I think we are ready to color. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna do is color in down here using gray. If you don't have gray, you can use brown. But this is all where they built their houses on top of kind of dry land, okay? Now, the whole thing about this is that it's made out of sheets of bark. So rather than color everything in, what you need to do is take your crayon and just draw, going in the direction of the bark, you're going to draw in curved lines to fit. All of this is bark. You want to go in the direction of the lines. So for these that are going up in um, horizontal, come in and do those. These are going this way, make your line go that way too. It might take you a while and it's important to make sure you go in the correct direction. Otherwise you're not going to be able to differentiate from a pole from the bark. So I'm doing my poles. This is a pole. Jump over. But I'm following the lines. Okay. Now, all of this is bark. And it's really an amazing look. If you see one, you can Google it. We Two Houses. And these were the Native Americans that were in Massachusetts, Rhode Island, Martha's Vineyard. So they were really forest in the forest pretty much. So they had access to trees. But it's interesting how they use the bark to make their coverings. So all of this needs to be just, I'm just doing straight lines. And I'm still using my gray. Because you got to remember that if you came upon one of these, you probably wouldn't see it for quite a while. Because they made everything out of the materials that were in the forest. So it blended right into the environment, almost like camouflage. Okay, so you're bringing all these bark lines all the way down. And everybody's going to have a different look because we all draw differently. Then you're going to take a brown and you're going to do your opening to your shelter brown. This could be beaten bark also. Okay. If you got two browns, I'm doing mine a little dark and a little light. Okay. Then you really want it to look woodsy. So all these little plants should be green. You can do variations of greens. 
over here. And they said when they didn't use bark for their uh, coverings, they would use cattails. These are seasonal dwellings. And again, they're not made to last. They're only functional for the amount of time that they need them. And they would have whole villages. They say on Martha's Vineyard, 3,000 Native Americans lived in these houses. Okay. So there's your forest. Then just to fill it all in, I'm going to just put some blue. Loop-de-loop -loop all the way up. Bring it over. Up and over. And of course, you will do a way better job than I'm doing right now, but you get the general idea. Okay. Let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here is my Woodland Native American roundhouse, all colored in. Just environmentally correct at all times, using the materials that were available. Okay, bye-bye.